Hello friends, this video on probability part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Probability of the event E is called conditional probability of E given that F has already occurred. Correct? So I'll rewrite this formula once again, which I'll derive now P E slash f is nothing but p of e intersection f by p of f. So whatever is here is here and these two you make an intersection. That is a formula of probability of getting e, conditional probability of getting e given that f has already occurred. Correct. So let's derive this formula in the same examples which we had. So we did this question, find the probability that is a Monday given it is a weekday. So to do this what we did was, we, we had this days and we told that day can be either weekday or it can be weekend, right. There are two weekends and there are five weekdays. And from this I am to find Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Now if you see all these are equally likely, there are 5 such uh, possible uh, weekdays. So probability of getting Monday given it is a weekday was nothing but 1 by 5. This is something which we have already seen, correct? Now let's derive this, let's derive the same formula, let's, let's see how it is. We told that probability of getting a uh, Monday over the condition which is the weekday is nothing but probability of getting Monday intersection weekday right by probability of getting weekday correct so what is the probability of getting Monday and weekday. Monday and weekday if you see the if you see the weekday has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday right and probability of Monday intersection weekday is Monday only. So this is nothing but probability of getting Monday correct see Monday intersection weekday is Monday only that is nothing but probability of getting Monday and weekday is nothing but probability of getting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. correct. So probability of getting Monday is 1 by 7 because there are 7 days a week and probability of getting all of these, any of these 5 is 5 by 7, correct. Because 2 by 7 is probability of weekend and 5 by 7 is probability of weekday because there are 5 elements here, 2 elements here. So if you divide this, you get 1 by 5. And that is what the answer we were. Thus, if you see that this formula holds true. So, using graphical way, whatever value we got 1 by 5, that is probability of getting Monday, given it is a weekday, was 1 by 5. And the same value we get if we use this formula, probability of getting Monday, if it is a weekday, is nothing but probability of Monday intersection weekday divided by probability of weekday. So, this is one place where we have proved that the formula is correct right we will do two or three more proofs as we will conclude that this formula is correct let's take the same example which we had the the roll of dice so here we define the probability of getting three given it's odd number then we the the way we solve was we throw you get odd you get an even right so probability of getting odd was there are three odd numbers so three by six probability of getting even was 3 even number 3 by 6 and now from odd you get 1, 3 and 5 right. So probability of getting 3 given its odd number we, uh, we found was 3 uh, 1 by 3 right 1 by 3 because there are 3 possible events and I am looking for this event. So we found 1 by 3 right. So I found probability of getting 3 given it is odd number. Let's use the formula and see how we get probability of 
getting three intersection getting odd by probability of getting odd right intersection of getting three and getting odd will be what three is three and odd will be one three five what is the intersection of this three only this is nothing but probability of getting three by probability of getting now please note this is without conditional probability so you throw a die what is the probability you will get three one by six correct please note there is no conditional probability here so this is nothing but a normal throw of die so probability of getting three is one by six what is the probability of getting odd what are the odd numbers one three five three possible options so probability of getting odd is three by six correct so if you divide these two you get one by three and that is my answer so if you see in both case we get same answer using graphical way and using our formula we get the same answer if you use the logic or use the formula you get same answer and thus with this examples i am now more confirmed that this formula is correct correct let's take one more example so we had again this question so we have to find the probability of Radha being selected given the student is a girl we can take the same example so let's uh, assume the boys are Shyam, Amit and Pur. and the girl is Radha Sita So in this case, we define the probability of getting Radha given the students like this girl. So let's suppose we do like this. You have a selection and you can select either girl or you can select other boy. Right. Since there are two girls and there are three boys, probability of selecting a girl is probability of selecting girl was 2 by 5, 2 by total number of students and probability of selecting a boy is 3 by 5. 3 boys, total number of students. Right? Now from this girl, I can select either Radha or Sita. Right? So conditional probability of selecting Radha given student selected is girl is my 1 by 2. Correct? Because my Radha is, I am taking this example first. Radha and Sita are the only two only two options if you confirm that the condition that the student selected is girl one by two. Now let's do the same thing for example. The example uh, says that probability of Radha given the student selected is girl is nothing but probability of Radha intersection girl by probability of girl. What is the probability of Radha intersection girl? So Radha is Radha, girl is nothing but Radha and uh, Sita. So intersection of these two will be Radha, Radha only. So this is nothing but probability of Radha, right? By probability of girl. I hope you understand this part. Radha intersection girl is Radha only because girl has two values, Radha and Sita. So intersection of Radha with Radha and Sita is Radha. So probability of Radha is how much? You want to select Radha from this whole bunch, 1 by 5. Please note, there is not a conditional probability here in this case. Divide by probability of selecting a girl is 2 by 5. That is nothing but 1 by 2. So if you see here, this answer which I got here and here are same. Thus my formula is also true. We will take this one more example. So I will put 2 stars here. We need to find the probability of Shyam being selected given the student selected is girl so if uh, if i am told that girl is selected i don't see sham here all together right so in this case the probability of sham being selected given the girl is given the student selected is girl is zero because if the girl is selected i don't see sham here so this is what i get from graphical way let's try from the formula the formula says probability of selecting Siam given the girl, the student selected is girl is nothing but probability of 
श्याम इंटरसेक्शन गर्ल बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गर्ल श्याम इंटरसेक्शन गर्ल देर इज नो एलिमेंट बिकॉज गर्ल हैज सीता एंड राधा राइट एंड दिस गाइज श्याम देर इज नो कॉमन पॉइंट बिटवीन सीता एंड राधा एंड श्याम राइट दर इज प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सेलेक्टिंग जीरो बाय प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गर्ल दैट इज जीरो बाय गर्ल इज टू बाई फाइव जीरो बाई टू बाई फाइव इज जीरो सो इफ यू सी हेयर ऑल्सो वी कॉट सेम रिजल्ट हेयर ऑल्सो वी कॉट सेम रिजल्ट दस आई कैन से दैट द फॉर्मूला विच आई एम यूजिंग इज करेक्ट एंड दीज फॉर्मूलाज आर यूजफुल वेन वी हैव अ बिगर सेट बिगर क्वेश्चन वेयर इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू क्रिएट सच सेट्स राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टोल्ड यू टॉस थ्री थाउजेंड पॉइंट इन दैट केस इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू एक्चुअली राइट दो सेट्स वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला Let's take this example also. So in this, uh, we toss the coin thrice. We get this sample says eight numbers of outcomes, and where E is the event of two heads, and F is the event of getting first coin as tail. My E has this set, and F has this set. I have to find E slash F. So we found that this guy came out to be one by four. We found this, right? We found this. So how we found this? What we throw a die. You either get E, sorry F. Please don't. I took F here because the condition is F, or you get F complement. Both combines get the whole set, right? Probability of F there were one, two, three, four elements, and F dash also we found there were four elements. Right, so this was four by eight, and probability of f dash is also four by eight. So probability of f is four by eight. Right. Now from this, I have to find uh, this guy has f has t h h, t h t, t t h, and t t t. So in this, I have to find a set where it has two heads, at least two heads. This guy is the only only possible option. So my probability of uh, two plus heads given uh, uh, first tail is nothing but one by four. This is I found using the graphical way. Let's do from the formula. This becomes P of E intersection F by P of F, right? E has these values, F has these values. If you see the common value, let's see. H H H is there any common value? No. H H T is common. Yes. H H T H T T H H. This is the only common. Sorry, this is the only common. Correct. This is the only common. H H T is not here. The only common value is one. So probability of E intersection F is nothing but Probability of getting T H H and probability of F is nothing but probability of F. So probability of getting T H H in this throw is one by eight because everything is one by eight. So this guy is also one by eight. So one by eight. And probability of it is F is four by eight. Given we just found here, this becomes one by eight. So if you see that from both we get C match. Thus now I can sure shot say that this formula holds true. That is probability of getting E given the condition F. Please note probability of getting E given the condition F is nothing but probability of E intersection F by probability of F. Let's repeat the same formula again. Probability of getting E condition F is nothing but probability of E intersection F by probability of F, and the condition is probability of F has should not be. Zero. If it is zero, it becomes infinite. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.